Star ESG Summit 2024 kicked off to a good start with a focus on achieving the ambitious goal of net zero emissions by 2050. The summit offered a unique opportunity for attendees to gain insights into the latest advances and cutting-edge technologies in sustainable business practices while illuminating the compelling financial incentives behind ESG adoption, including cost savings and heightened investor interest. Natural Resources and Environmental Sustainability Minister Nick Nazmi, Nick Ahmad, who officially launched the inaugural event, said that corporations need to go beyond mere compliance and focus on measurable performance to drive meaningful impact in ESG initiatives. We are thus now in an era when strong and authentic environmental, social and governance credentials are not merely scorecards to fill but keys that can save our planet. Investors, capital, customers, and talent are increasingly attracted to companies that look beyond profit, but also have a passion for taking care of our planet and our people. Today, ESG adoption is not merely a side note, but rather the core of our strategy to position Malaysia as a global investment hub. Our ambitions align with global targets. Starting this year, the new government has announced that our net zero target has been brought forward to a firm latest by 2050. We plan to reach 70% renewable energy capacity by the same year and to fully transition away from coal. This may sound ambitious, but it is the right vision and Malaysia wants to be the beacon of ambition and action when it comes to climate change in the region. And I believe we can get there together. Despite such proactive steps, Nick Nazmi acknowledged the rising anti-ESG sentiments in some sectors abroad, with certain companies moving away from sustainable commitments due to political pressures. There is an anti-ESG backlash that are emerging, including in some sectors in the West, of certain companies moving away from such commitments due to political pressures and geopolitical rivalry. I believe that these sentiments are fundamentally wrong and ultimately self-defeating because the ultimate bottom line for all businesses is the survival of their respective societies on this planet. If previously companies were more focused on being in the black and not being in the red, but today, the priority is to be in the green. The two-day summit featured enlightening discussions that addressed pivotal ESG topics by participating corporations on their sustainability journey. Among the topics were how property developers can harmonize urban environments by coexisting with nature. Sustainability General Manager Dr. Yasmin Rashid of Syme Darby Property, the urban biodiversity partner for the event, recognized the challenge the industry faced in implementation of eco-friendly operational methods. Meanwhile, Saxon Renewables founder and managing director Rake Ong said while Malaysia is making progress in its energy transition goals, there are still some challenges that need to be addressed in terms of achieving net zero. So we're always uh, sharing about how actually the corporates can drive the change of the government policy. Because if let's say somebody, uh, some corporates, they come in Malaysia and tell you, if let's say your, your country is not so easy for me to uh, acquire a renewable energy, I mean acquire RECs, then I will start to consider whether I want, I want to continue to stay in your countries or not, because you will affect my renewable energy sourcing. For Zurich Malaysia, embracing ESG into business operations is a no-brainer. The group's chief risk officer of property and casualty and sustainability risk, head Teresa Wong, said businesses need to do so, without which those who are exporting to the European Union or the U.S. could face the risk of closure. And that's why organizations should embrace this change and take ESG into stride, embed it into the operations, you will have a happier workforce, you would have a more efficient way of running your operations. So even ourselves, we reduce paper a lot. You know that an insurance contract is just a piece of paper. So we learned during COVID-19 that you did not need to see the paper to know that you have an insurance contract. You can have an e-policy. 
The ESG Summit is organized by Star Media Group, with Syme Darby Property Berhad as the Urban Biodiversity Partner. Saxon Renewables and Zurich Malaysia are silver sponsors. For more information, visit conference.thestar.com.my slash ESG Summit slash.